Hi, my name is George. I'm excited today to try and explain to you properly how to measure a lawn. Now, I'm gonna go through some real basic principles of, of length, size, breadth, and missing pieces, trying to tell you exactly how to work out an awkward shape so you can get the right amount of turf delivered when you want it and not have either far too much or not enough. For measuring the area, you will need a tape measure, some pegs, a hammer, and a string line. A lot of folks get really scared about measuring and working out areas, it's dead easy. So I'm gonna try and help you out the best I can. So if you have a square lawn, it's literally measuring the length times the width, times two together, and that is your area in square meters, as long as you measure it in meters, okay. So let's do that now, first of all, and start off with our area. So if we take this area and we'll measure the longest <coughs> piece first. When you do measure, try and have a nice long tape measure, which will make your life a lot, lot easier and save having to move the tape measure along as you go and put your finger down and try and mark out where it is. So that is 8.65 meters or 865 centimeters. And if we then bring that in here and measure the width, it's just really important. You take your time measuring and you do it accurately, but then it saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle later on. There's nothing worse than being a few holes of turf short on a job. So that's six meters. So if we take that six meter width by the length which is 8.65 meters and times the two together. So 8.65 times six equals 51.9 square meters. So call it 52. So that is the area you would need if it was just a square area. Now let's look at if the area was a triangle. If we're gonna measure a triangle, okay, it's really easy. But I'm gonna use a tape measure and fabricate a triangle. So if we just uh, pop the tape measure down here somewhere and assume this is the base of our triangle that we're gonna measure, which is 7.5 meters. This formula works for any triangle. So we can take that measurement there, which is three meters, but we could take the height times the base divided by two, and that gives you your area for triangle. Okay, so it comes on to areas of circles. Everyone just goes, ah, comes circles, quite easy. So look, I'm no artist, but let's just try and knock up some sort of circle that we can look at how we're gonna measure. So assume that is a circle in my garden. What do I do? We take the diameter. The diameter is that measurement there, which is 1.8 meters. So the measurement here from the circle, from the center of the circle to the end, and here comes along Bertie, is 0.9 of a meter. That's the radius. So it's your radius times itself, times pi, which is 3.14. So for me, it's 0.9 times 0.9 times 3.14, which is 2.54 square meters. So this area, if it was just a nice square area, it would be really easy to measure as we've already explained. Now, when there's a slight curve in a lawn, which we have, and obviously the jobs in your garden and will happen all the time, I want to try and explain how the easiest way is to measure that area. So just bear with me. We're gonna go six meters this way, which effectively is the same length as the far width. And when you come down here, six meters, at 90 degrees to that corner, which will be a peg, roughly at that point there, six meters. I'm then gonna take 8.65 meters, from this corner 
back to the post to make sure this is dead square, okay? So we'll take this point here and we'll measure this down. And as it happens exactly, that peg is exactly the right spot. So I now know that had it be a square, we know the area of that. I then got to try and take away this area here. Otherwise, I could order the turf, no problem at all, but you end up with far too much. Now, this way is a really easy way of doing it. I'm gonna bang a peg in every meter along here. I'll explain as to why I'm doing that in a second. So let's bang some pegs in here. So I'm gonna try and work out the area of grass I want to take off. And we know that the width is six meters. If I come in here a meter and we measure that distance there at 90 degrees to the edge of the turf, that's coming at 2.8. Call it three, who's here? Half up between three and six is 4.5 meters. So we know that that area is 4.5 square meters to come off. And all we do is do the same thing for this section. This is two meters. We do the same thing for this section, which 1.4 meters. So you get the drift that you can then go through and add up all the little segments together that will then take off the area. When we have a tree in the lawn, we could just guess that it's a metre to come off there or half a metre to come off there, but let's go through and just knock up a little sort of circle of what we're probably going to be leaving around the tree with a bit of bark or whatever we decide to put in there. So we have another little circle. Really quickly, go through and measure. Probably go this way, it'd be easier. If we measure the diameter, which is 70 centimetres. So if we then take the same Calculation as earlier. We know the diam diameter. We take the diameter, halve it to make sure we get the radius, which in my case is 0.35. We times that by itself 0.35, and we times that by 3.14, which is pi, which equals 0.38 of a square meter. So we know that literally the area we've got, we take away 0.38, and that will give us an accurate measurement for the mat turf required. Measuring the amount of topsoil you need is really, really easy. Just take the area you've got, times it by say three centimeters, so that's 0.03 of a meter. If you want five centimeters, go 0.05 of a meter and take that figure, times that by 1.4 will give you the total tons of topsoil required. So for our example, if we go 38 square meters, times 0.03 of a meter, it's 1.14 and times that by 1.4 would mean I would need 1.6 tonnes of topsoil to blind this. So I order two, two tonnes and I've got loads to go. Okay guys, hopefully that's given you a really good guide to actually how to measure your lawn. Um, if you're not sure, go on the website, put your measurements in the website on the calculator and that'll work it out for you. Um, if you want to go and invest in what's called a Mosur, um, which is a little GPS device that will go around um, and you mark basically the various pots, spots on your, on your lawn and will give you the area you want to, uh, to turf very, very easily indeed. But look, if you've got any other uh, questions or need any more information at all, please get in contact. The team in the office will look after you all the time and make sure they can hold your hand to make sure they get the right amount of turf delivered when you want it. So here we go. This is the area to be turfed and brown with a tree in the middle of it. How do you measure it? First of all, measure the length times the width. That'll give you the green area, the big square area. But we don't want the whole green area. We only want the brown area. The pink area has got to come away. And how do you work out that pink area? There's lots of ways of doing it, but for us, the easiest, easiest way of doing it is as follows. Get some stakes and mark out one meter spacings on the top and on the length, and drop the line down to try and work out the area of those pink areas in between the black lines. Take all those areas together and do as follows. Take length one and measure length two. 
and measure the width, which you know is one meter. All we have to do is take length one, add length two, divided by two, times the width will give us the area we require. Simple as that. So here's an example. Okay, so let's take 1.2 meters, length one. 1.6 meters, length two. Add them together, divided by two, times it by the width, which is one meter, equals 1.4 square meters. So take that segment and do the same thing for all the segments. We can then work out the area to be taken away from the green area. And that will give us the amount of turf that is required. But I would also take that figure and add 10% to that figure to make sure that you do have enough turf. When you are cutting in turf, it's amazing how much turf you do waste. 